What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name is Jeff and on today's show we're going to be going over some of the basics for laser levels. When do we need them? How do we know which one to get? And even a few tips on setup and how to use them. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So if you're new to concrete construction or if you're a DIYer just doing a large concrete project, I mean, having all the right tools is going to be the first step in the job. I mean, concrete work is already hard enough the way it is. So the last thing you want to do is to make the job even harder by not having the right tools. Now, we already have a few videos covering concrete tools on our channel, so please check them out as well. But today we are going to be focused on one, just one tool, the rotary laser level, or what most people in the business just refer to as a laser. A laser. <laughs> now, now, this isn't necessarily a must have tool for every concrete job. And I mean, sometimes just a good old four foot level and a string line is all you're going to need. But for larger slabs that require long stretches of form work, a laser level will not only speed things up, but in some cases, it's just going to be the only way to get it right. Now, not all laser levels are created equally, and like most other, to other tools, there are entry level options as well as high end models. Now, if you're a DIYer, I mean, really renting one probably is going to make the most sense. You can get these at most tool rental places for under 50 bucks a day. For contractors, well, I would do some research. I mean, you're going to spend a lot of money on these things, and the two most well-known brands are Stabila and Tapcom, but there are others out there as well, and my advice would be to just talk to other contractors to see which ones they use and what they like or dislike about them. Now, I could go on for a while here about other features that lasers can offer, but in an attempt to keep this video under 10 minutes, uh, we're going to go straight to the how-to part of this episode. So with all that said, uh, let's go ahead and head outside and get this thing unboxed. So as I'm setting this laser up here, the first thing I want to consider is that this is a self-leveling laser and there is some differences out there. You can get these things that, that don't self-level and they have little adjustments here and little bubble levels on there. Nothing wrong with those. Uh, you just want to be, uh, make sure you don't forget to do that when you set it up. In today's case, all we're going to do is screw this guy down. Now I am going to make my stand somewhat level here just as, as much as I can. Uh, but again, when I turn this thing on, it's going to go ahead and level itself up for me. So I'm just going to hit the on button and the laser just going to take a little bit of time uh, just to find the spot that it likes. And then as soon as it levels itself out, uh, it's going to go ahead and start spinning just like it is there. Now, as far as this stand, I mean, you know, this all depends on, you know, what kind of job you're doing. But, you know, if there's a lot of height elevation change, then you may need to make this thing taller, shorter. In today's case, you know, we can just leave it sitting uh, right where it is now. So now that I got that thing spinning, I'm just gonna grab my stick and my receiver. This level, or the, this laser spins the entire way around, but it's got these little corners here um, on the end of this little housing. And it can always be annoying. It seems like if you don't pay attention to this when you're setting it up, you end up with one of these little corners uh, being right where you need to use that laser. And then, you know, it's just that little bit is gonna block the laser from hitting this receiver, right? So why don't you and the giant laser get a fricking room for God's sakes? In today's case, I know that my slab is all going out this way. And so when I set this up, I made sure that I have a window pointing that direction. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my receiver on and it's got some beeps on it. And those beeps actually uh, have a meaning to them. So. As I'm holding this laser, if I hear high beat or if I hear fast beeps as it is right now, then I know without even looking at my receiver, I know that uh, my stick is too high up in the air and I need to go down to get level. As I push this thing down, you can hear a solid, it's not a beep anymore. It just goes solid. So when I hit that, I know that is my level point. As I get below it, you can hear the beeps get slow. So they do that for a reason, so I don't even have to look at that. Slow beeps means I need to go up. Fast beeps means I need to go down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my shot right off this corner here, because in this case, I would uh, want this water to all slope back towards that corner and off this way. So I'm just gonna get my shot as a starting point. So that's right on with this corner. So it's really important as I'm holding this stick 
that I hold this thing nice and straight up and down. I can change, you know, what this thing's telling me just by moving my stick around. So even though if my stick's right up and down and I'm right on for this corner, all it takes is a little bit one way or another to throw this thing off. So always pay attention, just try to keep a two finger grip on that stick so it's just gonna stay nice and straight. And um, you know, just pay attention. If you see one of your guys out there doing this, man, he's, um, it, it's not accurate. So I got that shot. Now I'm just gonna, um, as, as I, before I even set my point over there, I'm just gonna walk around and see what this looks like. So I'm gonna walk down to this side so that right there is my level point. So I know that, I don't have a tape measure here, but that looks like a good, you know, two to three inches of fall already. So I can already tell that if I follow this slab, my water's gonna be coming this way. Now, just out of curiosity, we're gonna go see what it looks like over here. This is actually just a tiny bit higher than that side was. Um, so I know that it's probably gonna wanna go that way a little bit. Now I can come down here in my corner you can see that right there is my level point uh, from that corner. So I can just set a stake here and then I know that I'm exactly level. And then all I gotta do is measure down two inches, three inches, however much fall I want. And then I know I'm exactly uh, three inches lower from that corner and my water's all gonna come this way. Okay, so, you know, using your laser like that is great for just getting your initial grade, all your dig out. But to actually set this form, I'm gonna be a little bit more precise with it so I know it's right on because I don't wanna to have to hold this stick and measure down with the tape measure. So this is a part that can be a little bit confusing. You gotta think about it for a little bit. I've messed this part up a lot of times, but you know, if you do mess this up, you usually realize it pretty quick. But just an easy thing to remember is that if, I'm, if, if I know I'm going from this point and I wanna drop three inches, the... Uh, <laughs> Everybody's tendency is to move this down the stick three inches because that would kind of make sense. But it's actually opposite of that. I want the bottom of this stick three inches below this point, which actually means that I need to move uh, my receiver up the stick, which is gonna push the bottom down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where I'm at. Um, I'm just gonna mark this point right here with a pencil. That way I know that no matter what, as I move this laser, this was my starting point. And now I can take my tape measure and I'm just gonna measure three inches right there. Now all I gotta do, move my receiver right to that little mark I made. And now when I turn it on, I'm not gonna get any beeps here because this is all the way down there. Now if I go back out to my corner, let's just see where we're gonna be at. So now I know that that is the exact top of my slab over here and this works, works great uh, to set forms. Now it's also possible to use this to set grade stakes. You know, uh, this slab here, it's gonna be easy to pull a string across this and set a grade stake. But you know, I, uh, when I was younger, I used to pour a lot of large flat floors, the crew that I worked on, and there was really no way to stretch a string across that huge area. So we would just use this, set this right to the top of our slab. We can use this to set grade stakes. This is one of those really, really handy tools that honestly, if you're a concrete contractor that's out digging out and pouring concrete every day, it's kind of a must have tool. So another really, really cool feature that this laser have, has, I mean, they don't all have this, but this one here definitely does. And that is this slope feature. And so this comes in really, really handy if you're digging a ditch uh, to put a drain tile or some pipe in and you just need a little bit of slope to get that water running, but you don't wanna keep uh, resetting this laser every couple feet um, just to account for how far you're going down. So what we can do is we can set our high end, we can set our low end, and it's all done. And again, just you know, uh, refer to your owner's manual. Every laser is a little, little bit different on how to actually set this. But essentially, we're gonna set our high end, we're gonna set our low end, and then no matter what, as long as we stay in that straight line, uh, this thing here is gonna read right on um, and it's gonna account for that slope as we go along and we never have to reset it the entire time. Just works great. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And now for the most challenging part of any concrete project, how am I gonna get all this stuff back in the box and get the lid closed?
Well, guys, that's pretty much it for today's show. Uh, please leave us a comment if we missed anything in this video or if you have any questions about using laser levels to prep concrete slabs. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.